this seems to be like a normal, let me say, field event where we have to showcase our varieties. But I know, Brigitte, that there is much more behind this event in terms of organization, story. So please tell us what there is behind this event. Well, first of all, um, we try to show more than just varieties. We try to tell the story about sustainability, about reducing food waste, about the climate change and how growers face climate change and what we can do to help. And also about the labor issues that they're facing. And we are always trying to develop varieties with the grower in our mind. And not only the grower, eventually the, the processing industry, the retail market, and of course the consumer as well. Bene, sono qui con Francesco. Francesco, io so che tu vieni dalle Marche, una delle zone più importanti e storiche della produzione di cavolfiore, ma se ti chiedessi, dimmi tre caratteristiche che tu ricerchi in un nuovo cavolfiore, in una nuova varietà. È molto importante che sia bianco, che sia compatto e che abbia resistenza alle malattie più comuni come la batteriosi e l'alternare. Bene, grazie mille Francesco. I know that one of the topic of this edition is how we are, are we going to face climate change, okay? So can you tell us something about the new varieties in order to face this issue? And the heat tolerant, drought tolerance, it's is the, the main direction. This is the, the first variety which will be introduced uh, in Africa Middle East uh, from this breeding program which I mentioned uh, before, Ocha from Hungary. So this variety uh, has a very good wrapping, so self-protection of the of the cart, which is the big challenge for the grower because they have to pay extra money uh, to, to, to make it happen, to protect the cart against the sun. Uh, but also, as you see, the cart quality is very good, so nice color, very firm. This is what the growers are looking for and this is what we try to, to develop for them. Okay. Thank you, Alexis. So we are now uh, watching a demonstration of a uh, machine to harvest white cabbage. And one of the things that becomes increasingly an issue for growers is labor. And one of the examples that you can see here is the variety Toreador. That's a variety that is easy to machine harvest. It has a little bit elevation from the soil. It's very uniform as a good example to reduce labor in combination with the machine. Within our onion program we have a selection called the diamond selection. Uh, within the selection we have uh, some varieties and those are excellent in certain properties. And uh, those properties are firmness, skin quality and high endormancy. And because of those properties you get onions which are very suitable for storage, even for long storage. And after the period of storage, just before preparing for selling, for packaging, you are uh, sorting, grading the onions, and with those properties you get onions with less waste. So let's go with our Diamond Selection onions. You know that one of the topic of this edition is how we are going to face the climate change and I heard about this new variety called Ice Music, am I right? Yeah, yeah? Okay. Uh, Can you want, you want to tell us something about it? In the heat in the Netherlands, about 40 degrees for the first time in all the centuries. Wow. And he was very good in bolting, tibbering and he keep his uh, shape. Here you see, this is a very nice uh, bottle ah, yeah. and a very good internal. Less bolting. Good shape of the leaves, good layering, so it's, uh, it's looking very good. Yeah, I would, say that, I would say the ice music sounds perfect. Sounds perfect. Sounds yeah, perfect. Yeah, yeah, Thank yeah, you yeah, so yeah, much. Yeah. The key that you find here on the field, besides all of the great varieties, is the passion. The passion we have for our customers and the passion you feel when you're talking to each and every one of the guys and girls in the Orange Chiles. So am I right if I say innovation, passion and sustainability behind this event? Spot on.